Hello, I have a mini slash mid-sized junk journal for my Etsy shop today. I was just playing around after my custom work yesterday and I started this off and I finished it this morning before and I before I start on my custom work today. So I wanted to feature one of my vintage fashionistas and I do have this, um, there's 12 of them that I've retouched from the early 1800s fashion plates and they're in my Etsy shop so you can get those as a download link all 12 of them uh, for just $1.99 but this is one of them and I love this this is like two friends or sisters and it looks like they're reading um, some music and so I kind of did like a vintage shabby chic music theme and um, the size is about seven and a half by four and a half and I decided to round the corners on this I really think that gives it um, a very well-rounded look, if I do say so myself. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, anyway. So this has a uh, heavy brown cardstock cover, and I did a ton of layering. There's some vintage sheet music that I made a ruffle with, and there's just little bits and pieces and flowers and trims and buttons. And this tie I inked up with the Walnut Stain Distress Oxide to make it really vintage and match the back um, this doily wraps around and it's stitched all the way around and I used uh, antique linen distress stain on this as well and here's a Tim Holtz flower and then this ribbon comes around I decided to go ahead and make a tassel for this one and this is one of my favorite tassels I've made so far I'm very new to tassel making and I've watched a couple of videos um, but I just came up I'm sure someone's come up with this before me but um, I came up with a different way of doing it and I want to do a tutorial on it um, pretty much once I took all of the ribbons I twisted them into this circle here or oval instead a uh, loop <laughs> instead of using like a um, one of those binder rings or something like that and there is an eyelet and this can come right off if you undo this bow and I'll do a tutorial on that hopefully in the next week or two because I think you guys might enjoy that. There's a whole bunch of different laces and trims in here and textures. And there's um, some different beads and charms. There's a butterfly and there's orange and green and purple. Lots of pretty um, things on that tassel. So let's get inside. Just click the Etsy link below if you're interested in um, checking this out and purchasing it. That comes right off so it is customizable removable um, okay so here is a sheet music corner with a couple of my tags in there and then a couple of tags I made here as well clipped on and this is a journaling spot it opens for journaling and then I got this bow and a happy mail from Sherry I think and I just added a little butterfly gold heart clip and then that says courage is coffee dyed paper I did some stamping and I used um, the Tim Holtz distress marker so it's kind of all colored I did a lot of sewing on this one and sewed on ribbons and laces and trims paper ribbons this is this beautiful life uh, my favorite and then there's some butterflies these are actually coffee dyed um, it's like a colored cardstock and then I coffee dyed it so it gives it a little soft vintage look and then here is a fabric tab tab and then here's a little journaling card that i blinged up some more stamping on this page here's a ribbon tab a lot of these papers that i used in here they're really heavy card stock so they would be great for adding photos on or things like that as well or of course just journaling here's a paint card um that i vintaged up and then there's a whole bunch of writing space in this little note paper booklet that goes in there this is from Nectar's Creations. Um, I had some leftover back from when I did a steampunk um, foot book when I started my channel. And so I added this. And then this is from a vintage book, um, Music by Rote and by Note. And I think it's from the 40s or 50s. So that's what this backing is. And then inside the pocket, there's Life of the Party. It is a... Um, figured you know like a vintage party like a Jane Austen party life of the party I love this trim and I added that and then the garment pin with this beautiful beautiful uh, little bead dangle thing and I don't have a technical term for it bead dangle thing I have a huge bin of junk jewelry from Goodwill and I snipped and tied this off from one of the necklaces and I thought it went really well in here it says family this page here 
is from a very, very old, I want to say it's late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, music textbook, 10 test questions. And if you can see, the owner of this textbook from well over 100 years ago actually penciled in the answers, and I left those. And these are questions about Ludwig van Beethoven. So I thought that was really really special and this is not a copy it is the original page i just stitched along i folded in half and i stitched along the edge because the paper's kind of weak here's the middle of the signature this beautiful trim i stitched on here and then i added a little um, flat back heart there some stamping down here and i love the coffee staining this a little book plate that i punched out and then i made a top music tuck spot with a dark dark green tag that slips up in there. Here is a paper and lace banner with a butterfly and pearl. And then here's the other side of that big pocket. And so here's the other side of that pocket and then you are so delightful is the journaling card in there. And of course there's room to put a lot of things. More distress marker stamping down there. And there's a little Tim Holtz butterfly. These this is another one of my vintage fashionista ladies down in this little tuck spot. And then how pretty is this? These are more beads from that um, necklace and then this lace. A little bit of stenciling. Oh, and there's a lace tab and button up at the top. Some stickers. Another one of these, I've been doing these in a lot of, um, not a lot, but a few of my journals. And I do want to do a tutorial on these. Uh, they're paint chip cards, the ones that have the little uh, frames cut out so you can put it up on the wall and see if it matches the color. But I like to back them with images. So veranda yellow, sweet treats, and soft candlelight. And then I backed it with this. There's lots of room for journaling. I thought this was really lovely and it went well. Here's a paper ribbon with a heart button. A little sticker. It's like a chipboard sticker and a lace tab. And I actually stamped my um, shop name on a piece of fabric here on the back. So I hope that you guys like this one. I am so happy with how it came out. It really stretched me as a junk journal artist because I have been watching a lot of, um, well, a couple of new junk journal artists. Not They're not new, new to me. And I've been getting inspiration. Um, a lot of my inspiration recently has been coming from Paula Lemon. Um, I really enjoy her work and I know she gets inspiration from a lot of places as well and we just all share it around. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and it is available in my shop and ready to be shipped out tomorrow for whoever would like it. And also remember the digital download, you can go ahead and um, purchase that as well. And I'm gonna tell you this one thing, if you want to purchase this particular journal I'm going to have a specific coupon code for you and you can get the download for the Vintage Fashionistas for free. So the Vintage Fashionistas, $1.99 for the download. So the coupon code will be worth $2. So you're going to add the journal to your cart as well as the Vintage Fashionista digital download file. Add the coupon and then that will cover the cost of the file and you will get the journal and then the file's free to use in your journal if you would like. So um, I hope that you enjoy this. Thank you and have a great day.